other examples that we have created here in Laminar. Okay, so this is a linear project. Uh, so actually it's uh, three projects uh, within the same region, three roads. Um, and um, so we prepared the, the program and then when we plotted the main activities um, here on the, on the linear, um, on the time location, uh, we pretty much just identify the main groups. So site clearance, earthworks, drainage, um, landscaping, etc. And something that became clear is that uh, we identify that, for instance, the landscaping have to be the last activity. So we then amended the the, the program to, to to reflect that. So um, it was quite useful when we did the time location because we were able to identify this this little issue. Some other issue that we didn't, some other issue that we identified as well was that um, the pavements have to start after the curves, or at least after the curves have started. We cannot lay pavement before having the curves laid. Um, this is just a, a particular uh, example of uh, when you, you, we can, you can detect clashes and sequences of, of, of works. Another example as well is, uh, this is uh, um, DC to AC conversion station. So much more difficult to represent on a time location because you, it's it's a very small um, area, uh, it's, uh, and 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 you don't have it's not a high rise building, it's not a linear project. So the way I came to explain the team a little bit the program was to divide the layout in the various buildings that we have. So this layout has a storage building where I have my cursor valve hole and then other buildings here scattered so i represented them so each building in between these two horizontal lines so the storage building is represented between these two lines the valve hole between the, the other two lines and then that goes on it was useful to see for instance that uh, the sequence and the flow of works and uh, so for instance here the foundations of these three buildings uh, they were done from this month to that month. But we can understand here that we have an overlap. We have overlap of these activities. That is not a problem if the subcontractor can supply three teams at the same particular time. But it might be an issue that needs to be flagged. Um, other, another issue is, for instance, these steel works. They are going in parallel. And we have many other examples that I could go through but these are easy to spot. Um, we can actually look for the continuity of the teams. If we have a continuity for a certain team or if we have a gap in time where we have works and then we stop and then we continue again. Um, so all these um, sequences are uh, were easier to understand and then we have the commissioning and the end over at the end.